Top of the day to you all our esteemed viewers and you are welcome to the official channel of Regis Enterprise. Please do well to subscribe to this channel so as to receive a notification each time we publish a new video that will be very helpful to you. Today we shall be looking at how to create a 1688 account, how to create a Alipay account, how you can access your Alipay account, how you can verify your Alipay account and how you can fund your Alipay account. Like you must have known, if you are buying as a foreigner, the only option you can use to pay is Alipay account. Without wasting her time, let's go straight into the business of the day. Now Anchor you creates an account with 1688. Basically there are two methods of doing so. First, go to www.1688.com. Then you right click on the page to translate it into English because we don't understand Chinese. Now you click on register. After clicking on register, it will take you to a page. Now you have the option of picking between an enterprise account and a personal account. Now I will pick on personal account. Now as you can see, some of the words are still showing in Chinese. And this is because some of the content of this page are inside a frame, so we cannot translate them. Now what we do is we open another tab, we open Google Translate in another tab. So for us to understand every word that are written on that page, now we copy this word, we go to our Google Translator, we paste it in the box. As you can see, it says member's name. Now you impute your name in that field. Then we perform the same thing again on the second field. We copy this word in Chinese. We go to our Google Translator. We paste it in the box and see the translation. Login password. Now they are asking us to put in a password. You put in your password. Now you perform the same procedure on the third field. You copy this word. You go to the Google Translate. And then you paste it in the search box to see what they are asking us. It says password confirmation. Okay, they are asking us to confirm our password. You type in your password again to confirm it. Now, they are asking us for phone number. For phone number, you search for the country code of your country in this case i will search for the country code of nigeria because i'm Ni i'm a nigerian which is 234 you can simply search for your country code by making use of the uh, drop down scroll bar or you can simply press ctrl f on your keyboard and type in the country code after which you input your phone number you type in your phone number now let us go to the next field we copy and go to our Google translator to see what they are asking of us we paste the Chinese word into the Google translator it says verification code now this field is a slide button you slide it to the right hand side to receive the verification code After receiving the verification code, you click on submit after typing in your verification code. The verification code will be sent to the phone number you entered. You type in the verification code here and click on this orange button which simply means submit. Voila! Your account has been successfully created. Now let us look at the second method of creating an account for 1688. Now simply log in to www.taobao.com. 
By creating an account on Taobao.com, you can use that same username and password to log in into 1688. You can also use it to log in into Alipay account. So let's go straight to the point. Now, once you log in to your Taobao, www.taobao.com, you translate the page into English except you under, understand Chinese then you can leave it but as for me I don't understand Chinese so I translate it to English so after translating it to English you click on a free registration which is at the top right corner after clicking on free registration you enter the details that are required of you on the registration page now you click on english to switch the page to english you can see you just click on english at the top right corner as you can see it has been switched to english then you enter your phone number so you enter your your, your current your valid phone number because the verification code will be sent to you so after imputing uh, your phone number you swipe the button to the right hand side and then you'll be required to impute the verification code that has been sent to you so you type in the verification code into the box that has been provided and then you click on confirm then it takes you to the next page where you set your login name, your password, your email, and the username. So you type in your password, type in your password. The second field, you confirm your password. Type in the same pass password to confirm it. And then you go to the next field, which is your email. You type in your email. Type in your email, your valid email address. Maybe your Gmail address or Yahoo mail address or any other email service you're using. And then you set your username. You set the username for yourself and click on submit. Once you click on submit, so with this account that has been created, you can use your username and password to log in on both 1688 and Alipay. So now let us see how to access our Alipay account. To access our Alipay account, the first thing we need to do is to download the Alipay app on our device. You go to www.alipay.com, you will see an option to download the Alipay app. Or alternatively, you can download the app from your respective Play Store. Example, if you make use of Android, you can go to Google Play Store to download the app. Once you go to Google Play Store, you type in Alipay into the search bar and then the app will pop up and then you install it on your device. After installing it on your device, you enter your username and password. You can either enter the username and password you used in creating an account on Taobao or you can choose to create a new separate account for Alipay. But in my own case, I will make use of the username and password I used in creating Taobao. I prefer to have one username, one login detail for separate account. It makes it more easy to manage. Then you enter your password and you log in. When you log in into your account, it takes you to the interface of the help. As you can see, this is the interface. This is the home page of the Alipay app. Now the next thing we want to do is to verify this app. Now to verify our account on Alipay, two major requirements you need 
are number one a valid mastercard or visa card and secondly an international passport these two requirements are the only things that are required for now these are the only valid means of verifying your account for now so if you don't have the two there is no how you can verify your account so to verify your account you click on me and you click on hard card then you type in your card number the number that is written on top of your ATM card you click on hard card and secondly you go back to me and you click on your profile to add your picture because we have three main uh, verification process you have to verify your face you have to verify your card and you have to verify your ID so you upload your picture and then lastly you go to me and then you click on add ID info you click on add ID info then you type in your real name your valid name you type it in in the order with which they follow as you can see verify ID card verify ID card but before you verify your ID card you must ensure that you have verified your card it is very very important to verify your card first before you verify your ID card then you type in your real name and then you type in the ID card number ID card number and that is all about the verification process simple as that another thing we want to talk about is how we can receive payment into our alipay account now one thing you need to understand is that to receive payment into this alipay account you need to make use of a credit card that is issued by a chinese bank but as a foreigner you don't have a bank account in china talk less of having their mastercard or visa card so what we make use of is an exchanger so you need an exchanger to fund this account for you you pay the exchanger in your local currency for example you pay the exchanger in naira why the exchanger fund your alipay account in the equivalent of the amount you've paid but no problem about that at regis enterprise we will help you fund your account at ease with no problem at all so now to fund your alipay account you need to click on home the home page of your alipay when you click on home you click on the icon collect so when you click on collect it takes you to a place where you see your barcode you save the barcode as an image as a picture on your gallery and then you send that image to anyone that wants to help you to fund the account. It's as simple as that.